I mean, they had oh this. Oh my god, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. But they... No, it's not. It's Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh no. We're back on the island. I remember this boss fight. This took Wait, us no, like an hour. That's Kingdom Hearts. Oh no, it is Kingdom Hearts 1. That's the end of Kingdom Hearts 1. Remember that boss fight? Remember that one that took us so goddamn long? I don't remember it taking us long. I remember it took you multiple tries. Cause we, no, because we kept. it wasn't just me, because we fought that fight so many times. The one where we're in the crater and he keeps rushing at us. I don't remember that. I, remember I don't remember it. taking it as long as you're saying. It's just it, it took. I remember it, right it took us like a regular 16. amount of time. I'm still in the animus. What a shock we suffered out there. This guy looks cool. See, I would play a game about this guy. Well, to be fair, we don't know they what he was like before he went You're crazy. Broken man. You're mine. True. Broken. I mean, you have like codex entry stuff, but like, so. You know what's weird, by the way? He looks like Nicolas Cage in this game. Look at me now. Oh, Jesus. Stop it. <laughs> in the next Assassin's Creed game. A movie, Desmond is played by Nicolas Cage. In, in three, we have to find the declaration between the bandits. Walk with me. <laughs> because he's the, uh, I get it, because he's it's American. Nice, when you find it, the animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. So what you're saying is, because it happened to me. in this game, there is no Desmond. We did exactly what you wanted. So I'm stuck here. We stopped giving you Desmond. A word of warning? <laughs> it's just all Ezio. Everything changes. Nothing feels. Yeah, but then they bring him back in three. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way Yeah, out. because everyone's like, nah, 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 now it's weird. It's funny because the Desmond pieces in this, when you're walking around to Desmond doing the weird parkour stuff, you're in first person and no one liked it. And then in three, they took it away and gave you back Desmond control. But then in four, they put you back in first person, wasn't me. and people hated it again. Who's that voice? Juno. Spider Verse costume. Claudia. Dude, did they better give me that Spider Verse costume? Cause... I have been in Acre a week now. Oh, here we go. And in high spirits, Maybe this is the one where they show the whole thing. For the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma, ten I don't see him wielding a map. How is he knowing where to go? He's just like crossing mountains and deserts. It's directly east. Just go. <laughs> just keep walking, and he's like, "I got it." He looks right into the camera. There's a map marker right that way. Who will greet me? It's just Templars, the ghost of Leonardo da Vinci, lonely. always ten miles away, saying well, Ezio here, over here. So he knows exactly where to go. Also, are we going to talk about how great that arrow was, that it missed all of his armor? Can we still claim it for our own? I mean, are we welcome there? that's what you're concerned about with everything else this man is doing? Yeah, like that I mean, archer knows what he's doing. If anything, this, this cutscene is the most accurate up until we get to play the it's the most accurate cutscene of Ezio gameplay put in a cinematic trailer I've ever seen. Well, no, we can't. We can't put people's weapons against them. To find clarity. If we could, or unless we can, this game. You can. You can disarm armor. No, but like, use their own swing to kill someone else. Oh, kill bro. Like we could in the new game. But like, still, he was just him against an army, and he was winning. Eh. He was managing. Anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me, or my ambition lead me astray? Do not oh, seek retribution or revenge in my name, <sighs> but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands. He looks. That's like a baller picture of it. Compared to like what he was when he was a teenager, like he's. He looks pretty baller. There we go. This is what I was looking for. Wrap it around. There you go. And then 
it starts from there. It's weird. So now we're seeing where we were seeing ghosts in real life from what we saw in the Animus. Now Ezio, without an Animus, is seeing ghosts in his life from something he's never seen before. It's Hodor. How he's being affected by the future and the past. Yay, we have just one blade again. You think that's where they got it? Obviously not the like the exact same thing, but Okay, wait a minute. I had a sword. You saw that, right? I had a sword I when we, when it first began. And then they gave They gave me a different sword. Oh, yeah, and our money better is better sword. A. Our money is A, it's not F. Oh, hold up. We need to find the conversion. Um, let's see. One dollar. A hundred and three bezants, which is the current currency in Constantinople. So a hundred and seven of them. So let's just say a hundred equals one dollar. A hundred and three equals one dollar. Okay, so then theirs is like pennies. If you were going to do something... Like that, they probably just yeah, it'd be like some markup or whatever. Be merciful, please. I am a working man with the family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber, and for the past three months, I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Oh. I like how this guy is just so willing to talk to you. Like, I don't, we have no reason to believe that he was being mistreated. I don't think it was, I don't think the killing was about him being mistreated. I think the killing was that they would have attacked him anyway. But like, oh, I see you. But these men, the other thing is like, he has no reason to be like this, like, comfortable talking to us why not we're obviously not a threat don't <laughs> fail a single fail what also by the way i don't know if you noticed but the uh i also don't know if you remember Ooh, this is the the, the place where you go in to talk to the mentor he usually it's like right over here uh and he would give you assignments and he would talk to him Etsy, are you crazy I mean, Altair, you're crazy. Jump out the window. Um, and then the place that we threw the... Uh, I don't know if you noticed that either, but the place that we threw the... the statue down... Like, first of all, Ezio had no reason to believe that there was going to be water under there, but whatever. He threw the statue down, and it broke through the floor of the place where Ezio had the last fight with uh, at the Alma, the, the mentor. Those dudes were not ready for me. I just bat, just bop, bop. smacked them with the door. Do you understand me? Nothing gets through. <sighs> I thought I was kind of already dead, and that this was just hell. But sir, this is a very public trade route. We have to let things through. Nothing gets through. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon. Well, I mean, if those are the only two options. I thought that he was just like a bandit. He said in the, earlier on that he was a bandit. Who? Ezio. When he was like supposedly talking to his sister, he was just like, oh, there's bandits. Uh, no, he that said there's mercenaries. Masya. No, he said there were mercenaries that didn't know this land. Yeah, that. But he didn't say there were Templars. Well, I don't... I would assume that it doesn't matter, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't come here if it wasn't Templars. Why are they giving me slow-mo kills? I don't understand. Unless... oh, okay, never mind, I get it. I think the slow-mo kills are to acknowledge that this is the end of the combat. A little bit. Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? 
I'm not gonna lie, I think I think you are in charge of an army full of idiots wielding sticks. That dude could have made it through. That first guy could have made it through that gate. I don't, but would you risk it? I mean, if I knew who I was fighting, no. But like, if I'm just like a guard who has like to follow his master's orders, yeah, no, I, I would have. I think you have to think about it as like, imagine you're a security guard, right? And then there's like a robbery happening. And from what you've heard, this one robber has killed every single person that's tried to stop him. Like, it doesn't even matter if you know who you're fighting or not. I feel like at that point, I would just say, you know, I'm going to find a job somewhere else. This is fun. Can you... You can't take his gun, right? Let's try. No, I think he'll just keep trying to shoot me with it. He won't use it for melee. No, I mean, like, if you kill him, you can't take his gun, right? No, no, that, I think that was actually like a prominent feature in 3 that they advertised it. Like, now you can pick up rifles. You know, for what he was doing, that rifleman was very calm and collected. I mean, yeah, he probably thinks he's safe. Well, no, I mean, like, while you were just murdering his friend. He was like very carefully reloading his gun. Like, yeah, no, that's fine. I got it. He w he was a good soldier. You didn't have to kill him. I feel like you could have avoided that somehow. Fine, I won't kill the next one. Well, I don't know about the next one. I feel like you, the damage has already been done. What does it take to kill you, eh? Why will you not die? Don't you ever stop howling. I do, I do want to say, I think it's cool. You do realize that when you stab someone through the heart, eventually they're just going to not be able to tell you stuff, right? I think it's unfair of you to murder someone and then get mad that they didn't stay alive long enough. I don't think it's that he got mad that they didn't stay alive long enough. I think he got mad that he started revealing all of his secrets. When you know he would have done he would not have done that when he was alive. I have been waiting a long time to get my hands on one of these. Okay, you're making me nervous, Phil. I don't think I have the right genes to Yeah, you know why Desmond is able to use it, right? Desmond, the apple? It's not because, like, okay, oh, hold on. Yeah. Huh? Whatever you were doing, please stop and then talk. What the hell just happened? You were snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the animus located you, it pulled you back here. Yeah, I was saying that uh, the reason why Desmond is able to use the the apple, same reason with Alta, with Ezio and Altair, is because their blood had enough. Whether you like it or not. Not their blood. Their DNA had enough uh, first civilization DNA in it. Waiting. And uh, Desmond's dad couldn't use it because his was too diluted. But Desmond's dad, and Desmond's mom had enough so that way their child would have the added DNA of both of them together. So it just, it, it gave him enough to be able to use it. So there are a few people who are able to utilize the these artifacts. Do you want to do these or do you want to just do the Ezio? I mean, we have to do both. But... It's up to you. I, you said you couldn't go in there. So I said, try and see if you can go in there. Let's try. Let's just do one.